What's up and welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going for a test drive in a 1970 Super B. This one's got the 383 up under the hood. It doesn't look like it has power steering or power brakes. This one started up great this morning. It's the manual transmission. We're gonna be taking it down the road, point out any kind of flaws. You could tell it was like a sublime green at one point. You kind of see remnants of it under the hood. And I kind of like it because it's glowing pretty cool look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com we have finance options and shipping options available for you and of course i list these cars all the time every monday at 11 we update with new inventory at maplemotors.com so go there check it out for now we're going to take us down the road point out the flaws it's about that time let's go for a ride All right, getting ready to take off on another test drive here. Before we do that, place your bets. You think that horn works? It's a game we like to play on the channel here. Also, we'll look around the interior and kind of check everything out. Coming across the dash, you got some cracks popping up here. You also got some cracks coming around on this side as well. Looking at the dash from inside here, you're missing your trim piece that goes around the radio. Um, carpet in it it's not too bad just kind of looking around some more you got a little spot on the door handle over here looking in the back seat back seat has got some rips on the bottom as you can see so it does need some interior work your package tray is not too bad but it looks like the uh, coverings for the speakers back there are just kind of floating they're just sitting on the back dash right now your headliner in the back corner needs to be tightened up a little bit you also got the mechanics headliner on this side where it's a little bit loose you can see some holes and stuff up in there you got some fading on your interior light and there's a hole right here coming up towards the front though it actually looks pretty good you got a little spot right here looks like somebody's cleaned on oh big patch there that's some tape this side's all right let's go ahead and start her up this one does start up good uh, you can see the gas gauge floating up so i'm sure it works but we're gonna have to get some fuel because it's still on e our temperature gauge should have came up by now it hasn't moved at all oil pressure gauge isn't working either it's showing eighty-one thousand miles hard to stand behind that in a 1970 model let's go ahead and try some stuff out here so keep in mind place your bets on the horn wipers well we don't have wipers right now they're not working we i'm gonna leave them on for a second because i may be able to wiggle some wires under the hood and get it working Let's see here radio old school radio heat here we got heat fan here fan is cutting on so yeah we do got a good blower motor it's working um across the dash here turn signals not popping up the right side is but it just slowly flashes all right let's place your bets horn does it work it sounds like it's trying to don't it it's trying to, but it's not working. All right, guys. I think we're running out of gas here. 100% ran out of gas. Hey, it's the first time y'all seen that, isn't it? No, y'all seen that before. All right, I'm going to go get some fuel and then uh, wait a second. Might help if I use the fuel pump. There's a switch under the dash. That is a fuel pump for this car. Let's try it again. Yeah, might help us out a little bit. So that was all that was. We're not out of gas just yet. False alarm there. Let's hit the road, see how she runs and drives. Okay, guys, getting ready to take off here. Um, so far, so good. She's had her running for a little while. Can't forget about the fuel pump, though. It won't run without that. Well, it will for a second, but. So we're getting ready to take off here. Oh, we got somebody pulling in here. They ain't supposed to be. Let's see. You're supposed to go next door, sir. This is the first time I've driven this ride. Clutch seems to be letting out about halfway there. Maybe I should let him get up the ramp before he rolls into me. 
We've got the shipping truck here picking up the Camaro. Anything I see, I will let you know. That's exactly why I do these videos for you. We do got a stiff gas pedal, so. Speedometer's coming up on the dash here. Kind of filling her out. Nice four speed transmission. Got a whistle and window. <laughs> Going straight as an arrow as we go down the road here. Gears are feeling pretty good. Got the cracker open a little bit. There we go. That window to stop squealing at me. Steering on this one got a little bit of slack, but it doesn't have power steering, so. Usually when it doesn't have power steering, you'll have a little bit of slack in it. Brakes. Good. Clutch is easy on this one too. Go pull up in the gas station here. Come on, Let's slow down a little bit more for I put her in gear. There we go. What we're gonna do is put about twenty dollars worth of fuel in this ride. I'm sure the gas gauge works. It's dead on E, so we're definitely gonna get that taken care of. And I'll see you here in just a moment. We're gonna do some undercarriage shots. Getting some fuel now. Yeah, I'll shake the shipper. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. Up here at the gas station, I put about $20 worth of premium fuel in this ride. Gas goes in right here in the back. And we'll check out gas gauge. Let's see here. So. This time, fuel pump. There goes the Camaro. Let's see her up there. It's one of our shipping trucks. And then, fuel gauge is right here, so let's start her up. Come on up, fuel gauge. Looks like it's working. Somewhat. Should have a little bit more. Probably get to driving a little bit. And uh, I bet it comes up. I'll let you know. I was on the wipers. I couldn't get them to work. I messed with the motor and stuff, and it seems like the motor or the switch is bad on this one.
Okay, getting ready to take off here. We got the window back up. I've had it running for a little while and the temperature gauge still hasn't came up, so that's not working. We'll go ahead and pull out of here. Head on down the road. So far, this thing's pretty easy to drive. It does grind a little bit going back into second when you're slowing down. I think my only pet peeve on this car is it's got a really stiff gas pedal, which is probably the spring under the hood, which isn't that big of a deal, but it does make it a little funny when you're going to use the clutch. I feel like I'm gonna jerk into the gas if that makes any sense, but you're not going to, it just smoothly goes. Stay quiet during this portion of the video just so you can hear everything about the car. You see, there's not really a lot of rattling going on in here. Whistling window there. <laughs> and this is what I was talking about here. So you come out of gear and you go back into second right now. And it tries to grind. Till you get to a certain speed, then it'll let you go in. But it doesn't do it when you're just driving down the road. Check this out. I think it going slow enough. It's still grabbing every once in a while, but let's take off again. Car feels pretty good. She's got some pep, that's for sure.
back to the lot now. We're right around the corner from it. Scoot out a little bit. Going into first there, did it too. Unless you're completely stopped. I hope you enjoyed this video if you did I tried to uh, point out all the flaws so you know everything about this ride before you get here make sure you hit subscribe share hit like and I'll keep these videos coming your way for now for now we're gonna pull up in here see still doing that you can completely come to a stop to go into first there and second isn't doing it as you're going up it seems like as you're coming to a stop or downshift and it's the only time it doesn't it doesn't do it in third or fourth but uh yeah i try to point out all the flaws so hit subscribe share it hit like i'm getting ready to do the walk around on this point not chip scratches rust dense bondo anything else i could find that way you know the rest about the car i appreciate it thanks again guys It's that portion of the video walk around point out chip scratches and flaws so check maplemotors.com look at the detailed pictures we provide the shipping and financing as well and let's go ahead and get started here let's see one thing i'm gonna do before i kill the battery is turn the lights off <laughs> so let's get started here i'm gonna go down the lower portion first around the front end here Looks like a little overspray on that front bumper. Down the lower portion here. You see a lot of green on this car. That light green is what I'm talking about. So you got some cracks right there. A little overspray here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Coming on down. A couple paint runs right here. Up and over the fender. I thought I was about to get ran over. <laughs> there we go. A little crack down there in the bottom. A little spot there. You also got some paint runs down here at the bottom of the panel. Looks like an imperfection coming down right here. Very hard to see in the camera. Went on back. Got some paint runs on the edge there. And in the back, see some more of them runs. Under the stripes too. All right, coming back this midsection. The green popping through around the locks. You got some pitting on your door handle. Emblem's got a bunch of pitting on it. And over this top portion, some chips on the edge. So up in here. Front windshield on this one's in pretty good shape. You do got that old glass look. 
definitely tell it's older. Seal around the window looks good, trim, same thing. We'll overspray there. Fitting on the trim around the bent window. The light scratches on the actual window itself. More stuff popping up with chips. Mirror looks good. Got some sanding marks in this area here. Real, real light sanding marks. You probably can't see it in the video, but it's there. Back window's in good shape. Trim looks good around it. You got some bubbles popping up here on your pillar. And back to the trunk area. Sport chips. The seal in the back is older, crumbly. Looking in the trunk itself, it's got a few patches. Let's see if I can get my shadow in here so you can actually see it. You can see some tape marks up there. There's that fuel pump we were missing earlier. There's some holes over here. Get up in your package tray. Let your trunk lid, man. There's some bubbles popping up all around the edges. Some rust in the corner there. Good spring. Paint runs in the back. It's like the trunk's off too. It's got to push up out this way. Look at a bunch of little specks on the trunk here. You see all those? Little dots every little white ones. Down on this side, get some scuffs. Pitting on the bumper. And it looks like a big dent right here. So that bumper's kind of wavy. We're backed into something, I bet. All right, coming down this side, lower portion first. Get some bubbles popping up in the back. Cracks right here. Flip it over. Spot there. Paint run in the corner. The spot there as well, the fender. Some scuffs up in the front. And let's walk backwards so my shadow's not all in your video. Scratch down this. Looks like that could probably come off. Midsection's usually pretty good. Like scratches there a 
coming back down. See you later, man. Right. Little spots popping up here. Looks like on your handle here, it's got some pitting. over the top get ready to come over the front windshield too light little spots front window looks pretty good the trim's not bad around it your pillar looks all right you got some pitting on your vent window here. A little overspray. You can see the spray lines on the roof. Or are they going back and forth? Okay, made it around the outside of this car. Let's go ahead and open her up, check out the interior, get her started. Up on this door panel here. Looks like you got some fabric, it's messed up. see it's kind of peeling everywhere you also got some the old green where it was painted that color here and there this will rust to pop through at the corner here weather stripping doesn't look bad up under the door here jam looks pretty good seal there a little older it's got some rips and stuff but i'm gonna say it's still doing the job because it's smushing in and not just straight up falling apart the carpet there needs to be tucked in on the corner you can see it is older carpet there's a hole down here and the pedal is uh is actually missing so i was using that to drive and it is kind of stiff With that being said i want to see what the spring setup is not too bad maybe the cable back here that's making it so stiff coming up here the seat it's got some wrinkles i don't really see any big holes or anything you do got some stuff kind of popping up here and there where it's ripped there's a there's a tiny dot there a little hole in the back it's got the main issues in the lower seat there. You can see the couple rips on the other side as well. Headliner here. Package tray. Go ahead and jump in here. Start her up. Starts up good. Without giving it gas. Make sure to cut the fuel pump on because I done forgot. <laughs> As far as the gas gauge goes, it came up 
but I feel like with $20, that should have came up to almost a half. So it may not be 100% correct, but it definitely tells you when it's getting low, so. Oh, we also got a little bee up here. nice and quiet and responsive and I just took it on a long test drive it's staying really cool even the radiator huh. it's at least been running 45 minutes to an hour when I do these test drives I had about a five minute walk into the office that's about it to cool down and it's staying nice and cool so even with that temp gauge not working it's not bad at all Under the hood looks pretty solid. Very clean. Coming down with it. Your edge there, you got some chips and stuff that they painted over. And it shuts easy. chips up here where it's rubbing a little bit. Okay. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share, hit like, and I'll keep these videos coming your way. I want to thank you again for watching. Check out maplemotors.com finance and shipping. Detailed pictures. And every Monday I update at 11. So keep that in mind if you want to pick up the cars first. I know a lot of y'all are saying, oh, well, they're selling so fast I can't get to them. That's because people are tuning in on Monday at 11, and they'll see something they'd like or they've been waiting for to uh, come up here to buy, and they do. They'll give us a call, put it on hold, which the whole policy is $1,000 non-refundable. You want to watch the video. You're going to want to uh, see all the detailed pictures, and you're going to want to talk to somebody about the car. That way you know every detail. With that being said, appreciate you watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Later, guys.